guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to wish you all a happy new year filled with blessings and may all your wishes and dreams come true this year. Today I'm going to show you how to do this uh, silver, black and glittery cat eye look. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Let's get started. The foundation I use today is Max Face and Body Foundation and my shade is N2. Then I did my eyebrows using Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Dip Brow in the shade Ebony. Now I'm going to create my wing and I'm using Ico Skinny Eyeliner Pencil and this is perfect because it's very sharp and very precise. I'm going to start where my crease folds and I'm going to take it out in a cat eye um, type of wing. I'm going to out outline it first and then I'm going to fill in uh, the wing later on. So this is how it should look like. Then I'm going to do the other side as well and I'm going to move on to the next step. Using a 210 eyeliner brush by MAC and Amazonian Clay Aqua Lilies Waterproof Gel Liner by Tarte, I'm going to fill in the wing on both sides. Now I'm going to take a firm shader brush and I'm going to apply the shade Blackout by Urban Decay on the outer part of the wing and I'm going to blend it slightly inwards towards the lid and you can see as I blend it inward it starts to look a little bit grey and faded. That's the ombre effect that you want to achieve. So go heavy on the outer part of the wing and lightly blend it with whatever's left on the brush towards the inner lid. Now I'm going to apply the silver shade and for this I'm using Platinum Eyeshadow by Motives Cosmetics and I'm applying it all over the lid, slightly blending it towards the greyish black part of the wing. To make my eyes pop, I'm going to line my waterline with black eye pencil and for this I'm using Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner Pencil and the shade is Perversion, it's the darkest I could get out there. I'm going to now apply some of the black eyeshadow on the lower lash line to define it and for this I'm using a short shader brush. To intensify the lower lash line, I'm going to go over it with the eyeliner pencil and just make sure that you apply some more of the black eyeshadow just to seal it and keep it in place. You can stop here, curl your lashes, apply some mascara and you're good to go or apply some false lashes which is what I'm going to do but first um, you need to line the top lash line for them to just blend better and I'm using the same gel liner I used to fill in the wing I'm just gonna go to both sides and then apply my false lashes don't forget to blend in between shades to make the colors um, kind of uh, transition and smoothen well into each other. For this I'm using uh, All Over Blend by Sigma. You can use any fluffy blending brush that you have. I'm gonna curl my lashes now and apply some mascara and the mascara I used today is by Ico. It's a skinny brush mascara. I'm just gonna do the top and the bottom lashes and prepare them for the eyelash application. And the lashes I use today are by Flutter Lashes, the style is Serena. I'm gonna line my lips next using a Motives Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Neutral. 
And then I'm going to apply some bronzer. I'm using Chanel uh, Cream Bronzer, applying it using a Real Techniques contour brush on the outer parts of my face. It's my second time wearing it and I really like how blendable it is and how the shade is not too dark for my skin tone. I'm going to spray some uh, MAC Fix Plus on a dual face brush and apply Whisper of Guilt on the highest points of my cheekbones to highlight them and the bridge of my nose as well as my cupid's bow and I really like this highlighter, it's one of my favorites. I'm going to apply my lipstick now and I'm using Myth by MAC. Using the contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to take this uh, yellow matte powder and apply it on the area where um, I should apply my concealer. I didn't use concealer today because um, I didn't feel the need that I need to cake up my face more. I just used a light coverage foundation because my eyes were so heavy. And I'm going to apply it just below the eyes and um, the middle of my forehead. Um, a little bit on the chin as well, just to highlight those areas. And then I'm going to take um, the contour brush and apply this um, matte uh, bronzer shade from the kit on the outer parts of my face just where I applied the cream bronzer just to keep it in place. The blush I used today is Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in the shade Tipsy by Tarte and I'm applying it using MAC 159 brush on the apples of my cheeks. If you want to glam up the look a little bit, you can apply some glitter and I'm using Laura 3D Liquid Luster Drops just over the silver eyeshadow. This is the final look guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and got inspired by it and I hope you try this look and if you do and you want me to see your creation, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, my hashtag is MayaMiaMakeup. If you have any comments or you know if you want um, me to answer any of your questions, you can either comment below or just email me for a faster response. Uh, if you don't have the same products, you can use anything you have and if you don't like this color combination, you can um, switch the colors, you can use any shade that you prefer and that will go well with your outfit perhaps. I um, appreciate every single like and every single comment you guys leave on my videos. Thank you so much for that. God bless you all. I'd like to apologize to you guys for not being so active on my YouTube channel for the past few weeks and that's because I traveled um, with my family to Zanzibar to meet a couple of friends to celebrate New Year's Eve and it was fantastic, we had such a great time. I want to know where you guys spent New Year's Eve, was it with your family, did you travel, did you spend it at home? Let me know, you know, I'd like to know more about you guys. Um, thank you again for watching, I will see you all really soon with more tutorials and lots of my Instagram pictures will be recreated this year. Bye guys!